Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And it is me. They call me Heat. I just left the gym. Got work. You know what I'm saying? Got my workout in. So had to get right. I'm trying to get trying to get strong out here. You know what I'm saying? So for all my producers out there that's sitting in these chairs for hours at a time, listen, get out the chair, go to the gym, get your workout in. You know what I'm saying? Get your, Build your weight up. Get your weight up because you're going to mess around and have a gut. You don't want that gut. You don't want to be looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? You want to be you want to be able to enjoy your life as a music producer, right? So that's what I was doing. I was at the gym. So so yeah, I apologize for my attire. Um, yeah. But anyway, so today I'm gonna be making a quick beat, just a simple beat. Um, I, I found this dope sample and I just wanted to chop it up, see what I can do. I just want to create. So that's what we're gonna do today. Cook up this dope beat, uh, chop up this sample, and then get it in you know what i'm saying i hope you guys like the video make sure you guys follow me on instagram at they call me heat follow me on twitter at underscore they call me heat and follow me on facebook or like the page on facebook producer young heat or facebook.com slash they call me heat um but yeah let's go ahead and get into the video let's get to cooking this beat up all right let's go all right so i found the part of the sample that i want to use already um but i'm just gonna play the sample back so you guys can kind of hear what the song sounds like prior to me chopping the sample and finding the part that I want to use. The song is called Starborn. So that's, you know, pr pretty much the sample, but, or the song. And then I use this, this section here. So there's more, you know, stuff that could be used out of the song, but I chose just that one section. <clears throat> and I know this is really going to be a bouncy kind of beat here. So that's what I'm pretty much going for with this sample and the way that the sample sounds. I know that I'm going to go for like a bouncy kind of beat. So I'm going to go get my kick and things and um, yeah, let's go. So we got the kick in there. Now it's time to drop the snare in. And this is what I have for the snare pad, the snare sound. It's a rim shot kind of sound. So I'm gonna drop that in, let's go. All right, so next I'm gonna put in this um, hi-hat, low kind of hi-hat sound in like the background, but let's drop that in. You gotta have your tropical smoothie in the studio. You know what I'm saying? When scoop me up some of this tropical smoothie is real good. Uh, this is called Sunshine. So if y'all got a tropical smoothie where you at, go grab that Sunshine up real good. Let's get back to this beat. So now I'm gonna move on to the sample. Of course, I threw it in the fruity slicer. Um, time stretched it a little bit, um, and then pitched it down. I shifted it down 200 cents in FL Studio terms, right? So what I did off camera was I went and recorded um, 
I went and recorded a shaker. Um, and I put that, made my own, you know, shaker loop or whatever. Um, that's a good thing. Good tip for you guys, you producers out there. You know, if you have, you know, in order to get your own type of loops and your own type of percussion, go purchase you some percussion or make you some percussion and, you know, record yourself. Record yourself making that percussion. You know, make your own loops. Make your own packs out of just percussion. And, you know, give those to your producer homies or sell those packs, you know. But people are, the thing that makes tracks interesting is, you know, those percussion loops. So make sure you guys use that tip, right? With that shaker that I added, it sounds like this. <laughs> thing that I, that I did too um, was I went and I added this like lead style sound just something to give the track a little spice this lead that I got from Lush you know I know in the last video or a couple videos ago people were saying like oh no I'll take the lead out take the lead out because it doesn't really sound good and sometimes you just want to add sounds just to kind of see how they sound with the track you don't necessarily you know want to leave it or use it at that moment you just want to see how it flows so I'll, I'll show you guys what I did with the lead sound this is probably pretty much the end of it. That's pretty much it on this track today. Um, you know, I wanted to keep this one real simple. This one today really wasn't a lot. I didn't really want to do too much to the track. Again, I may take that lead out. You guys let me know what you think, though, because I don't know if I'm going to leave that lead in. But like I said, this was right. This was just something simple. But I hope you guys like the beat. I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell button right after so you don't miss any more of these videos. And until next time, y'all, peace.